Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to flash honeycomb with the Android Market onto the internal memory of the Nook Color. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to root the Nook Color procedure. If not, you can click on that link there to be taken to that, do that, and then come back to this procedure to continue. Uh, this method will erase your entire internal memory off of the Nook and flash Honeycomb onto it. Now this improves the Honeycomb performance over running it from an SD card like our other procedure, um, but it also means that you're going to have to do an unroot procedure in order to get uh, anything but Honeycomb back on this device. Uh, this ROM also requires you to flash this ROM using a custom recovery image on an SD card. Uh, reason being that this ROM happens to also erase the recovery partition, so if you try to flash it from a recovery image on the device, it could erase the recovery partition while you're flashing it and cause a problem. So we need to flash it from a recovery on a different device, hence the SD card. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to create that recovery image SD card. So we're going to download the Clockwork Recovery bootable SD card image from here and save that to our computer. Okay, now we're going to extract that file, so we're going to right click it, extract all, click extract. It should put it, produce its own folder, and inside should be a .img file. Okay, so these are optional steps right now for if you were playing with the Honeycomb SD card image, you know, the one that you boot from the SD card, and every time you took it out, it booted back into your old uh, ROM or whatever. So you have to reformat your SD card first before you continue. So to do that, we're going to turn on our Nook without the SD card inside of it so this way it can boot up normally okay once it does boot up we're going to put our memory card in this poorly designed memory card slot there we go and then we're going to go to settings device info SD card, unmount, format, click OK. Once it says formatted, you can turn off the nook and take out the SD card. And then go to the next step of putting the SD card into the USB adapter and continue. Okay, so you're going to take your SD card adapter, which you should have from doing our other procedures for the Nook color. And we're going to take our memory card and put it in there. And then close it. Okay, now we're going to plug our SD card in our SD adapter, our USB adapter, into the computer. Close that. We're going to go to see program files for our win image program that we used in the how to root right click it run as administrator select disk store virtual hard disk image on physical drive select the SD card reader go to where your clockwork mod recovery.img file is select all files so that we can see it select it hit open hit yes and wait for it to start flashing. Okay, once it's done flashing, we're going to download the Honeycomb ROM from the developer's post. Samuel Half. Scroll down, you'll see his flashable zip file. Click on that and save it to your computer. Okay, now you're going to take that honeycomb.zip file you downloaded and drag it over to the SD card, which should be called boot and wait for that to transfer. Do not unzip the file by the way and don't put it in any folders, just leave it on the SD card itself in the boot uh, drive. And that's it. Once it's done transferring you can close that. Okay, we're going to take the memory card out of the USB adapter and out of our computer obviously. And then make sure the Nook is off. And then we're going to try to put memory card in this horribly designed memory card slot. There we go. Okay, and now it is off still. Now with the memory card inside, we're going to turn it on.
Okay, once it's on, you should be greeted by the Clockwork Mod Recovery. So we're going to use the volume buttons to go down to Mounts and Storage. Go down to Format System. Yes. Then Format Data. Then format boot. Okay, if Clockwork Mod uh, Recovery freezes uh, after you do the wipe boot or format boot, uh, just hold down the power and the end button and keep holding it until the screen turns off. That'll automatically just basically turn off the nook. And then hold the power button to turn it back on. Make sure the memory card is still in there. It'll get back to Clockwork Mod and we can continue. So we're going to go down to install it, zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and you'll see our honeycomb.zip file, we're going to select that, and then hit yes to install, and wait for it to flash. Okay, once it says install from SD card complete, we can turn off the nook by holding down power and the N. Wait for it to turn off. Okay, and then you're going to remove the SD card. And then turn the nook back on. And wait for it to boot. Once it's done, you'll be greeted by the honeycomb uh, uh, unlock screen. You're going to, once you unlock it, you'll be asked this question because you left Launcher Pro in the ROM. I'm just going to choose Launcher and select Use by Default. This will give you the normal honeycomb launcher. And here we have honeycomb running a lot quicker than it did from the SD card. And you also have the market and all these other things, so enjoy.